You know, it'd be nice sometime if you'd help me out. And it'd be nice if you start complaining so down with You know, Oscar, I do everything around this house. I cook, I clean, I do everything around the house. Look, Kate, I'm not trying to hear that today. Damn, can you go for another walk? Or something like, burn out some of that stress and negative energy. Shit. Do you want me to leave? Because Oscar, you know I have no problem doing so. Do what you want to do, Kate, okay? Go for a walk, call a friend, something. <laughs> Look, okay, I have a lot going on at work. So can you please give me some space and not aggravate me so much? You understand? Sure, I'll see. Okay. Good. You know, you don't have to be so mean to me. I don't deserve any of that. You're right. I'll work on it. I mean, I really want to honor the vows that we made to each other. I mean, I still do believe in our love. I know you do, Kate. Oscar, answer your phone. Oscar, answer your phone. Oscar, wake up and answer your phone. What's my name, girl? What's my name? Chris, your name is Daddy. What? Your yeah, love. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. What? Ah! Ah! I'm almost there. Oh, what? 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 What?
other than the cake. What else you want to do this week? Hey, Dad, how are you? Well, actually, I really want you to kind of do more work on the outside of the house. Like, trim the trees, trim the leaves on the ground, move the yard. And there's actually a broken pipe in the basement that I need you to fix. Okay. Oh, okay. I got an yeah. interview with Tremaine. They can give you a good reference. You have an interview with Tremaine? Oh, sure. I can do that. I got nothing to do. Me and Oscar's come off today. Me and Oscar's using a vacation day. All right, thanks. See you soon. Rob, good luck to you. Good morning, Mr. Willis. Remember, you can call me your name. Got it. So what's on today's schedule? You have an interview with Dex. Dex? Yes, Dex. Remember, the office needs a handyman. That's right. And that person will also need to handle keeping the office clean as well. I need you to make copies. Okay, this is a lot. Are we complaining about working? No, sir, I'm gonna go make copies right now. I just need the handyman to get the most things. Got an interview with your man. You must be Dex. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. I'll let him know that you're here. Hey, Jermaine, your interview's here. Hey, Dex. Have a seat. So, Kate has told me so many good things about you and your aunt Kat. Well, I've been Oscar and Kate's handyman for two years now, and I love my auntie Kat. Sounds good. Oscar and Kate are off work today, but will you tell me what type of work you do around their house? 
paint, fix things around the house, you know, just keep the place clean. I also have a contract with Dr. Walker's office too. Sounds good. When can you start? I can start tomorrow. I'll check your references and give you a call tomorrow. Uh -huh. These people are crazy. They come into my office. They come over there hiding and, and I'm bringing their husbands and, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta maintain composure. Uh, uh, I got people acting crazy, coming to my office, telling me their marital problems, telling me their psychological problems, their childhood problems. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know that I'm Dr. Walker and I can handle it. I'm Dr. Walker. I'm Dr. Robert Walker, I can handle it. strictly for me to treat employees at your office location, Tremaine. Why did you send Kate to my office for treatment? Correct. I think it would be best for Kate to receive treatment outside of this office. Really? Yeah. We may have to increase my retainer fee. Treating Kate at my office, I have to spend more for expenses. I have to spend more for the light bill. I have to spend more for the phone bill and so much more. I think you're overreacting, Dr. Walker. Don't play to me, Tremaine. Have a nice day, Dr. Walker. Mm, so you ready for your session with Dr. Walker? I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I understand. Just, you know, relax. I know. I just really hate therapists. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. 
have these crazy patients that are making me crazy about seeing, hearing things, acting crazy. Come in. Glad you made it, Katie. Hello, Don Walker. Watch that attitude, woman. It's young woman. So, tell me what's going on at home. <sighs> Oscar. He's changed so much over the years. His attitude, the way he treats me, and so, even his interest. So, when did he start having the affair? <laughs> Dr. Walker, did I say he was having an affair? Let's reschedule our session for our after lunch, Kate. I prefer Kate. <laughs> job around here. Thanks. I know your girlfriend appreciates you. I hope so. Oh, so you were involved with someone? Yes. What delivery service say you at? Delivery service? I'm his lady. Really? Yes. I let him know you're here. Okay. Surprise me. Hey. Oh. Uh, so, um, there's your lunch. And she has got to make it to this meeting. All right, cool. I'll see you later. All right. Not right here in the cat. Stop up my back. Mm. Are you still coming over tonight? I'll let you know. Okay. Send her in, but this time around, I'm not gonna have any attitude from that woman. Come in. Walker. Hi, I'm Erica, my best friend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alrighty. So, do you hear voices? No. Do you hear invisible people? Dr. Walker, I don't like some of these questions you're asking. Let me do my job. Uh, okay. I was a little embarrassed at first, but yes, I do hear voices. Okay. Okay, you never mentioned any of this to me. <sighs> oh my gosh, I gotta go to the restroom. So, uh, Dr. Walker, I mean, Mary? What does that have to do with anything? Calm down. I'm just asking a question. No. Single and happy. Very happy. 
Okay, it's great and all. So, um, you should call me. I feel like you'll have some fun. Hmm? suggest you adjust your schedule for the next time, right? Hey, Dr. Walker, how'd the session go today? That woman has a bad attitude. Really? That does not sound like it. She batted her eyes during the whole session with me. I don't think you realize how hard and how many hours I put into this business each week. I built this empire based upon my passion and life and gifts. You are not going to interfere with what I created. What you're going to do is your job as this company's contracted therapist. You need to watch the way you talk to me, Tremaine. Dean is going to give you the schedule for the upcoming marketing meetings so you can effectively continue to evaluate our staff. Now leave. Who's that woman that called you so late last night? Listen, I'm stuck here at work. Now go back to your desk. Street Famous Soundtrack label is going to launch its next event, next project, which is Too Ambitious. Um, it's part of the three-part docu-series uh, featuring 56 celebrities, eight major record labels, and two uh, label founders all over the world, every artist that you can think of. Any questions that's relevant to the launch of Too Ambitious, that would be helpful. Ricky, so what do you want? Well, 
you can start by meeting my family. You know, and then begin to plan our wedding. A wedding? When I propose? Oh, you will propose, or I'm gonna leave you black ass. As a matter of fact, you can watch this movie alone. I'm heading up to bed. Woman, you believe it's my hour. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Reed. Some time to set up some stuff. Let's see how to go. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. <sighs> no mail today. Thank God. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Bye. Oh. All right. We'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm gonna head to the shop to get some extra tools. Okay, you check Oscar's tool bag? Yeah, but it wasn't nothing that I needed to fix that important things. Okay. Go ahead and blast that. Let's talk. So, what's going on with you and Eric? I ain't going too good. She does not want to have blood around the house. At all. What? Yeah. She promised she'll get a job to help out, but she don't clean, cook sometimes, nothing. Wow. I wish I would have known that better before I introduced you guys. <laughs> don't worry about it. Situation worked itself out. I'm gonna head to the shop and get some too. All right. Um, <laughs>
Dr. Walker. Okay, how you doing today? I'm doing well. Just now coming back from my daily walk. So, what's new in your life? <sighs> of course, Oscar. I mean, he walks around the house as if he's never cheated on me. Demanding that I cook his dinner and wash his damn clothes. That's awful. Are you still dancing with him? Yes. I want you to bring him to the next session. Okay, I'll give it a try. I'm going for my daily walk today. So, am I gonna see you later on at Dr. Walker's office? Yeah, that's the plan. You know what, Oscar? This really means a lot to me. I mean, I really want us to get past all of this. Yeah, me too. Okay. You still love me? get an appointment, and I will set up a session. Come in, you two love birds. At the walk, I still love man. Oscar, I'm finally happy to meet you. Uh, Kate has told me many wonderful things about you. Really? Oscar, let's uh, get to it, let's be honest. Kate is telling me you have an affair, actually multiple affairs. Kate told you that? Oscar, you know it's the truth. What's your mouth, woman? Oscar, relax. Listen, I mean, we've been having little arguments about finances, but that's the usual. 
No, I don't know the usual. You know what, Oscar? I at least thought you were going to be honest today. Kate, watch your mouth. Kate, can you go uh, give me and Oscar some time? Can you go uh, wait in the lobby? Sure, Dr. Mm -hmm. Walker. Oscar, why are you so mean to Kate? On the man. I suggest that we have some sessions with you alone. And I suggest you focus on helping Kate, man. I gotta run. I'll send Kate back to him so you continue to help her. And I'll chat with you after lunch. Contracts. Hey, that sounds fun. Well, we're gonna find a job to help me pay some of these bills around here. Babe, hey, relax. Soon, okay? Well, it don't take too long. I only agreed to let you stay here and help me pay some bills. And I eventually thought we were getting married, so. Then act like you wife wiping material then. You know, do some chores, some dishes. Ain't no reason why I should have to do the dishes all the time. Really, Dex? I mean, you're asking for a lot. Hello? Who's that? Dr. Walker needs you for another session? I'll be there in a few. Kate needs me. I gotta go. Thanks. I don't know about Oscar Kate. I have concerns. I just wanted to say hello, and also, I'm stopping by a house later for some quick drinks. Really? Yeah. How did you get my address? <laughs> See? <laughs> You're funny.
How's everybody doing? Um, basically, want to discuss part two. Excuse me, before we start, yeah. can we turn the heat on in here? Okay, uh, I'll make that happen as soon as we're done with the presentation. Thanks a lot, Dex, new hire. Um, so we're going to discuss the part two of the soundtrack. Uh, basically, it's going to tie into the docu-series, which is the Founders Day, which is um, Jim Avine and Russell Simmons. Uh, they're going to break down how they started Def Jam and Interscope Records. How did um, Jimmy I, uh, this, is, this is very helpful. Uh, thanks a lot, okay. Um, so, doctor, um, as I stated before earlier, if you could, you know, let's keep the drinks down to a minimum when we were going to lunch. Absolutely. Okay, okay, let's, we're all, we're just working here, we're just working. Oscar, you look a little bit bewildered. Any questions or anything? I'll start. Anything, anything, Kate? You guys have no. to get off your chest? Okay. No, anything that's pertinent to the soundtrack, the launch. Okay. I'll get back to it then, you guys don't mind. With regular songs or, or mixtapes or albums, this is about one to two years. And after that, no one really listens to them. But if you remember, like Whitney Houston, when she originally came out and heard the Bodyguard soundtrack, they're still making money off of that now, which goes down to 100% uh, ownership of mass recordings, which I have. So this, this, will make, this will continue to make money long after I'm gone. And if you're part of this, you can continue to make money long uh, within five to 10 years span of earning for the soundtrack potential sales. Okay, everything okay with you and Oscar? Yes, everything's okay, I guess. Yeah, that's what you say. That's why I don't like employees dating each other. Because when things pop off at home, the entire office suffers. First off, we're married. We're not dating. Watch your attitude, Kate. <sighs> the launch of Too Ambitious is too important to me. This office cannot afford to deal with domestic issues that's going on in you and Kate's house, Oscar. So what do you say, Shalane? Yeah, what's this all about, Tremaine? I think you two know exactly what I'm talking about. Extramarital affairs do not belong in this office, my office. Look, man, I don't like to be accused of nothing. You can say that again. Oscar, how long have you and Kate been married? You two never drive or leave work together. What the heck? Save it. Oscar and Kat, get the hell out of my conference room. Man, this is some bull, man. Not here. Not here. If not here, then where? Why are you being so fast? What are you here for anyway? You know, I came to pick up Kate and we're having some drinks later. Okay, then go. Mm -mm, not so fast. What happened to that vacation you was telling me about? I don't know that the time comes. <clears throat> um, is everything okay in your Oscar? And Erica, Kate's waiting on you back at her desk. You are playing a dangerous game, Oscar. A very dangerous game. Yeah, so that was like 20% for March. Okay, yeah, and... Okay, all right, so go ahead and um, submit that email to me and we can get that submitted. And then we can go from there and I'll update the spreadsheet. Okay, all right, appreciate you. All right. Oscar, I don't like the press. And I don't like the lines. Leaving today's session was uh, inappropriate. Just get Kate's solution for her in this coma. Oscar, that's not my area of expertise. Then make your area of expertise.
I mean, this woman might be a psychopath, sociopath. I mean, she's uh, staring at me the whole time during the session. She's a psychopath hood rat. She's batting her eyes at me throughout the whole session. Batting her eyes at me throughout the whole time. Who does sister take me for? She better recognize I'm Dr. Robert Walker. You heard me? I'm Dr. Robert Walker. Girl, I can't believe Oscar left you at the session. Shh. Oh, quiet down. He's in the other room. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know about Dex. Some days they're really good, and the next, pretty bad. Well, I mean, if it gets too bad over there, you're always welcome to stay here in our basement. Really? Shh. I told you, calm down. He's in the other room. Sorry. But, you know, me staying in the basement will really help out a lot. Thank you. No problem. That's what friends are for, you know? Yeah. Well, I gotta go. You know, I got some plans tonight. <laughs> so I'll see you later, girl. Sounds like fun. Yo, what's up? Yeah, hey, I'll be there in a few minutes. All right. Did you call me? No, nah, I was reading something. Okay. Okay, wait, come back. Yes, Oscar. Hey. I'm about to go do something. Um, I'll be back a little later. So can you wrap my plate up and I'll eat dinner when I get back? Wrap your plate up? Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Whatever, Oscar.
So, what have you got yourself into, Robert? It's Dr. Robert Walker. You heard me? What? I need your help. Listen, my patient's husband wants to put her into an induced coma. Say what? Apparently, he wants to put, he wants to spend more time with his mistress, and he's cheating on her. Man, I'm, I'm not going to be able to help. I need your help. You helped me in the past, I need your help now. Yeah? But well, in the past, you always had a problem in the work. I need a solution in 48 hours. Let me tell you something about me and the cheap serial cheaters. The three personalities, Oscar exhibits down there all of them. Really? Yeah, there are three profiles of me and the cheap. One is Mr. Excitement, Mr. Charm. He likes to charm all the women. He can talk women out of their underwear and, and all kinds of stuff. I mean, you got that silver tongue. Uh, the next personality profile is uh, Mr. Horny. He's like a bottom feeder. He'll take anything that you got a pulse. He like her, she can breathe. Oh, man. The last one is Mr. Non-Commitment. He's still hung up on his ex-girlfriend and broke up with him in high school. He still keeps in touch with her. You understand me, bro? I done gave you some information. That's why me and Chief, they ain't one of them three personalities. Oscar, he has all three of them. So nice sucking cake. You touch how to make sweets like that, girl. Oh, you know I cannot tell you all my secrets. Why not? You know I let her know all that. I know you will. Because mm, mm, mm. <laughs> there's nothing like us. Mm. I can do it. I see you, girl. I can do mm -hmm. it. Look at girl. You sure know how to make me feel good and we'll make me happy. I can do Go on to that shower, girl. I'll be right back. Don't you go nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'm waiting on you, girl. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Hello? Hello? When are you coming home? Oh, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, because dinner's getting cold. Okay, I'm on the way now.
Eric, I'm so glad you made it. It's been a long day. Really? Want to tell me what happened? Just miss. Okay. So do you really not have a girlfriend or a wife, Dr. Walker? No, I'm too busy. Okay, so you know I have to ask. How much money do you make, Dr. Walker? About half a million dollars a year. Half a million dollars a year. Oh, you know, that sounds great to me. Um, you know, I have to make sure you can afford my weekly allowance budget. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gotta make sure you know, gonna... crazy bitch. Crazy bitch. Make sure you can afford my weekly allowance budget. <laughs> wow. just to, you know, know my friendship about Kate. I mean, he is Kate's therapist. If I find out anything different, you're gonna have to get up out of here. Find somebody else to rock with. This ain't working for me no more. Say what? Pack your bags and leave, now. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> wow. Crazy dicks. I mean, 
You understand? That's kind of risky. I mean, Kate and Dick make fun out about us. It looks like we just have to be careful. I mean, Kate will be back from my run soon, so you can take the bell in the basement. Oh. You cool? Stop playing. Yeah. Hey, did you tell Erica she can stay here? Yes. She was having problems with Dex, so I said she can sleep in the basement. Well, she's downstairs in the basement. All right. Yeah, my friend said it's okay, so I guess I'll be over here for a couple days. Oh, Cat, I'll call you right back, all right? Yeah. So what happened? Girl, uh, Dex has become a little too abusive. Really? Just take it easy. Get some rest for a month. All right. Crazy woman is getting on my nerves. She comes to my office acting crazy. I'm so tired of this crap. I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of these crazy clients. I'm tired of them. I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of these women doing this, coming to my office with all the problems. I'm getting tired of it. Husbands are crazy. I'm tired of this. I don't need this. I'm so tired of this crap. 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 Oscar. 
So. You know, I'm getting kind of tired of being the other one. I mean, I need some type of commitment in my life. Seriously. Listen, you know the situation before you came into the relationship. Yeah, but I want more now. Right. It's bad timing right now. I can't give you more. You can't give me more. Then leave. Get your black ass out of here and never come back again. Uh, that's not a problem. I can do that. He think he could just walk the hell in and out of my life? And I'm supposed to let him just work things out with his daggone wife. I am not the one to be played with. He'll see. You know what? Fuck him. I don't need this extra drama in my life. No fucking way. I got a good man. I have a man that wants me and loves me. So I'm going to get my good man back. starting to miss me some Ricky anyway. Not to mention, Oscar can't do me like Ricky do. I'm gonna get my man. Can't stop 
chase the women. Some of them all start going to strip clubs. Uh, it's just, it has to class I'm getting. I mean, these men, hey, this is something going on. Uh, maybe they got married too soon. I don't know. Why, why do you think we'll marry men cheat? Yes. Hey, man, where are you? Check this out. Okay. This is good. Okay. Can you pick someone to come I want to remind you about our uh, confidential agreement when I hired you. All right, sorry. Yeah, you remember? What goes on at the office stays at the office. Okay, I get it, man. And? I get it, man. And? Okay, okay. And? If you discuss what happened at the office, you breach the confidentiality agreement, and you will be fined $250,000. You understand? Yeah. Okay. I won't ask again. Okay. I will try to follow company policy. Okay. Okay, thanks. I need my solution. So how many times you want to repeat yourself? I got you. All right. All right, Ricky. This is a big deal. I got you. It works. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, um, but after this, no more. That stuff's getting really hard to find. Ricky! Uh, hey, Ricky! My man, I'm with the company. Ricky, hey, Ricky. Hi, Dr. Walker. Uh, what are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? Cat, could you go back upstairs? Dr. Walker, I will, I will talk to you later. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> Been so nice to me lately. Using me to do all your damn dirty work as usual. So typical of you, Ricky. I swear. So, uh, hey, how's the therapy sessions going to Dr. Walker? Okay. Weird, but okay, that's fine. What I cannot believe is that you let that bitch Erica look into your face. Okay, calm down. It's temporary, it's not permanent. Just calm down. Yeah, but did you tell me I still leave late at night? And where the hell does he go? 
I mean, it goes downstairs to vent to Erica sometimes. We do get into it. I mean, she is both of our friends. <laughs> Say what? Uh -uh. But didn't you tell me I serve beads at night and go for a nightly ride? Is he messing with Erica? You know, it's like uh, riding Erica. Cat, what do you mean? Why would you even say something like that to me? Three times and dirty ass. Cat, what did you just say? Me. What the hell did you, you just to, say? Never mind me. It was nothing. And what are you doing? Watch your TV. Mm. Okay. You can watch your mouth. You can watch your me. relaxation. Uh, I want you to lay down on the sofa, close your eyes and relax. I'm going to uh, give you some magical dust that's going to put you to sleep for about six minutes. Dex, I'll be cleaning up today. You know, I need my hours this week. I got this. Hey, what's the thing on the sofa? Uh, it's not important. You almost done? Yeah, man. You almost done? Yeah, man.
Oh, they did? Hey, man, what you doing here? I got a session with Dr. Walker. Oh, I see you, man. Bye, man. Hey, man. Start controlling Dick better. He's starting to get in the way. Listen, I will. I will talk to him tonight. Okay, just, just calm down. Yeah, you better. Cause if you don't, the trip next month is off. Listen, I said I'll talk to him tonight. Just calm down. I'll talk to him. Okay. Yeah. And if anybody else comes to you talking about Kate, you send it to me. Okay. I'll talk to them about that.
Look at you. Yeah. This feels so good. Do you remember when Oscar wanted me first, but you took him away from me? Yeah. You tried everything from cooking his meals, washing his clothes. Look where it got you. In a coma. I'll be happy when he finishes you off for good.
So what's next? Plan. Uh, just we can hire an office to feed our own herd. Got some check. Now what's next? We can wait till the office closes or the complex closes and then we can uh, move the body out late at night while everybody's gone home from work. What's up, Zach, man? Who started you on? I mean, man, I pay you every week. What's this all about? Dicks, get his ass! Get him back! Get him! 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 I got him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! I got him! Just 
for a third year total of five years. I want to miss his All right. Oh, I got some water for you. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, 